All right. I'm working on this American Standard Air Handler Unit, AHU, in an attic. This services the master bedroom suite. And once the Ecobee thermostat downstairs energizes and powers up, you're gonna hear. Oh, of course, this time you didn't. <laughs> but you're gonna hear that. All right. And I've already identified that the Ecobee thermostat is the problem. And I did that by going downstairs to the thermostat and touching R, C, and G together, and the fan came on right away with no noise. Now, a benefit of having an Ecobee thermostat is Wi-Fi control, so it's kind of a hard sell. I don't stock Ecobee thermostats, but alternatively, I am just gonna bypass red and the green, put them all together, so watch this. So now the red and the green are all together. We turn on power. And there you have it. Working perfectly fine. You know, these thermosets, these Wi-Fi thermosets, you know, they're marketed great. And you know, it's nothing, there's nothing wrong with having convenience on an app. Um, to turn on and off and modify temperatures, you know, anywhere in the world, you know, whether you're in your bed, middle of the night, you want it cool, you want it hotter, it's nice, you don't have to get up. Or if you're halfway across the world and it's winter time at home and the temperature drops to like 50 degrees, you get an alert and you could, hey, listen, you could send someone over to your house and uh, to have them take a look at it so your house doesn't freeze. But I've run into many cases where the Echo B thermostat um, fails. It doesn't turn the heat on, doesn't turn the cooling on. It doesn't turn the condenser on, doesn't turn on the fan. In this particular case, it's not giving you a constant 24 volt signal from RC to G, which is fan. And if you have a problem with that, this is what's gonna happen. You know, you're gonna have damage to this relay and then possibly damage to the uh, air handle blower motor because it's going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off so, so quickly. And uh, that could cause, you know, damage to those two components because of a defective EcoB thermostat. You know, Pipe Doctor, we happen to like the White Rogers Sensi thermostat. It's a great thermostat. Uh, and comparatively on Honeywell's side, we have the Honeywell uh, 8000. It's a great thermostat. I believe it's 8000. It's, it's, it's a nice profile, uh, touchscreen color display. It works great and you can enable Wi-Fi without having the Red Link router. So there you have it. Uh, I'm also taking this video from my customer, which is very, who's very handy. He's a doctor, but he installed UV lights in all his air handlers. There's a few more over there. But I'm making this video to show him what I did. So in case he has to go back and undo this, that's what he did. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You know, we hit a milestone this week uh, with a thousand subscribers. So I really appreciate all of the, the feedback and the support of the channel and the business uh, by you subscribing. And if you haven't done so already, and you're one of the 90% of the people who are watching this video or other videos of this channel uh, who haven't subscribed, you know, it just takes a second. Hit that subscri subscribe button. And if you wanna get post notifications, hit that notification bell. And as always, thoughts, feedback, comments, criticism, right down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Be well, be safe. Hope everyone's family and all your friends and family and your neighbors are all safe during this uh, crazy global pandemic. Uh, but stay safe, stay strong. We will beat it. God bless. Have a great weekend. Be well.